A century-old tradition being kept alive. Today, the Flanner House unveiled the first renovated house under its new home ownership program. It's pretty cool. It's a modern twist to the home building program on which the agency was actually founded. News 8's multicultural reporter Katir Winfrey has the story for us. With gentrification inching further into this near northwest side community, the new homeowner says it's important to keep these properties in the community with people who've called it home for generations. But owning this home is also a chance to show her children that you can reach your goals. This moment, <laughs> Ivy Green earned it. I'm home, finally. It took us a minute to get here, but we got here. Like so many, home ownership seemed out of reach until last year when in the middle of a pandemic, she decided she wanted a home for herself and her girls. Having a long connection to the Flanner House, she was one of the first to learn about the new home ownership program. When I first walked in here and did the first walkthrough, I'm like, you know, you have to feel something when you go in. I felt this one. I'm like, I like this. It has potential. I'm like, it's not what I want it to be but I think it can get there. For six months, Motivation Construction has been hard at work. Just think about where we started and what this house looked like um, and, and where we're at today. Transforming this house built in 1910 into a home. Flanner House Executive Director Brandon Cosby pulled from the organization's past, getting this program going with help from lenders, Lakeside Bank. We wanted to start this program to give renters who have been a part of this neighborhood and a community a permanent stake in this community. Cosby says this 110-year-old home has weathered the storm and being able to revitalize it, bring it back to life for a family who's always been part of the community is just invaluable, especially with gentrification concerns growing. This means a bit more to green. This is a, an up and coming neighborhood like they're, you know, revitalizing it. So people are kind of like, you know, I want to stray away from that. I want to stray away from that. But really, we need to bring this back. This this is ours, you know. Reporting in Indianapolis, Katira Winfrey, Wish TV, WishTV.com and follow us on Facebook.